So hi and welcome to another tutorial here on the Virgin Hub 3 or the Super Hub 3, whichever you want to call it. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your Wi-Fi channel to check if you're getting some interference with people next door or something like that. This can help improve speeds, especially if your network's flooded with everyone on the same channel. So what you need to do is find your router IP address. It's normally 192.168.0.1. If you're not too sure what it is, if you go to the windows at the bottom here, the windows icon, you type CMD, click on command prompt, type IP config. What you'll have is some wireless connectivity or your ethernet adapter. And what you'll see here is the default gateway. Now ignoring my 1.1, this is a different gateway for me. This would be the one that you want to look for if you've only got one gateway. 192.168.0.1. So that's the router's IP address. You type that IP address into any browser, you'll find it takes you to the Virgin homepage. What we're going to need to do here is log in with your password. If you don't have your password, you will find it on the base of the Virgin router, along with the SID ID and your wireless network connection passwords as well. I've reset mine, which will ask you to do anyway, but if you haven't done that, that's where you'll find the login for it. So once you've logged in, you're going to need to go to advanced settings. You're going to need to go to wireless, wireless signal. And what you'll see is you have a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz. As you know, the 5 gigahertz is the faster connection. Virgin has added a new feature on there is called Smart Wi-Fi, and as you can see, this way it will tell you whether you're on the right channel or not. It doesn't necessarily work. So what you can also do is disable this option. As you can see, it instantly enables the channel for me that I can pick. And then from here, I could pick a channel. So today we're going to pick nine, and on the five gigahertz, we're going to pick forty-eight. Now you can change the width as they call it. And this could give you a bit more bandwidth. I'm not going to change it today, but you could do that. This can also limit some devices though, so be a little bit careful. Some of the older devices on the 2.4 network will not go past channel 11 as well. As another option, if you find you can't connect to the network once you've changed the channel. Once you've done all that, all you then do is click apply. And that's it, it's taking your new channel settings. Test your speed, see how fast your network is again. If it's still a little bit slow, try a different channel until you find one that works right for you. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.